All right, guys, wanted to share with y'all a low vis setup that I've been utilizing for quite some time. And the contents of the bag have changed over the years, but I've had this particular bag for, for several years. And it's just a professional tennis bag or tennis racket bag, whatever you want to call it. They make these in all different colors and different brands, I'm sure. But this is one that I picked up at one of the big box sporting goods stores, you know, years ago. And I bought it for this specific purpose. And it's something that I've used with, with a great deal of success. And it served me very well over the years. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. This isn't necessarily a new concept, but this is one that I know that I have definitely used and I believe in it. So I'm going to share with you guys this bag, just a tennis bag. It's got a shoulder strap and double carry handles right here. And you got a little pouch out here on the outside. You can put some small stuff. And oh, I got a four inch Israeli dressing in there just randomly. But let's get right into the inside and have a look. So this thing just clamshells right open. And in here, I have Shaw Concepts Bandolier. And in there, I got four 30 round mags, P mags. And then I also have my can for my rifle my 11 and a half inch SBR. And the reason that is in there is because the rifle is inside of this case, but it won't fit with the can on there, but with the can removed and the buttstock collapse, it fits just fine. So 11.5 SBR. And then I know what you're thinking. You got no medical, right? But I everyday carry medical anyway. And the fanny pack, works very well for this particular context because you can grab the bag, sling up with the bandolier, sling the rifle and throw on the fanny pack around your waist. You're still carrying your everyday carry sidearm. And there you go. Now you got a pretty decent setup on to be able to respond to some sort of a higher threat level. And then uh, we've already covered this. You guys know what's in there. It's just uh, it's just essentially a, a carriage system for an IFAC or a trauma kit. So pretty simple stuff there. Uh, another thing that is possible with this type of a setup is, again, you can have your SBR in there or AR pistol, whatever. And then I've been messing with this T-Rex Arms AC-1 with level 3A plus soft panels in here, ballistic panels. And this is super light, super easy to wear for a prolonged period of time. And I'm really digging this setup for sure. I've been wearing it for the past few days for a few hours at a time. And then of course you guys, I've already done a review on the T-Rex Arms AC-1, so I won't get sidetracked there, but <clears throat> pretty, pretty slick little setup. So you could, also toss that in there if you like to, or if you deemed it to be necessary based on whatever scenarios you might be contemplating. And then right here, we have T-Rex Arms uh, three mag placard with just uh, a dangler pouch and then just a general purpose little admin pouch here on the front. So three mags, obviously. And then down here, I have a North American Rescue individual aid kit. And these are available on palmettodissonant.net, shameless plug. So go over there and snag you a couple of these if you're looking to build out a trauma kit or just toss these things around the vehicle, different packs and stuff. It's too easy. And in here, what you get is uh, a responder, compressed gauze, four inch flat emergency trauma dressing. That's an Israeli bandage, like the small one I have in the front pocket on this bag. And then you get a petrolatum gauze and then a North American Rescue surgical tape, one inch wide row. And then you get a pair of nitrile gloves, size large. So these things are, are awesome. I, I like them a lot. And they, they pack down nice and small and they fit in these dangler pouches and GP pouches just fine, even a cargo pouch. Oh, excuse me, cargo pocket on some pants or shorts or whatever. These things are just, it's a no-brainer to me. And then 
to back those up and boost my capability. I also have a pair of chest seals. And now you got a pretty decent kit. And of course, we got a tourniquet mounted on the cummerbund of the of the carrier. So that will get you set up pretty good to cover yourself on the trauma treatment basics. And then in here, I typically will put my cell phone in there, like when I'm out rucking or training or something. But right now I just have a paint can opener and these things are can probably likely be had for free at the hardware store in the paint section. If not, you might pay a dollar or two for them, but these can be utilized as just a pry bar for clearing malfunctions on your rifle. So that's something that's been going around on the internet. Not my idea. I'm not the first one to do it, but this is something that I've implemented across my kits, chest rigs and plate carriers um, recently, I guess you could say within the past year or so. I went ahead and I had a couple of them and I just went and decided to go pick up enough to cover all my stuff. So toss that in there. And I have mine just with some dummy cord on it. That way you can tie it off if you need to. So again, just something like that. You can pick and choose how you want to set this stuff up. And you guys know I like my gear to be scalable and I like to be able to mix and match and, and utilize different pieces of kit to complement other pieces of kit. So that's, that's kind of the way I do things. And it just works for me. So again, if you... Looking for an armored option, you can run this and the placard, and that will all fit in there. But most commonly, I will run the Shaw Concepts Bandolier again with the can in this end cell right here. And that way it's out of the way, it's all together. And then the fanny pack for my, my trauma kit because I don't really have room for it in here. Not the way it's set up right now. So, again, low vis kit and something that you can transport your critical items back and forth between your vehicle and your accommodations, hotel room, resort, whatever. I know it's vacation season and this has been my constant companion for years. And I'll set it up however I see fit and then I can carry this around. And it doesn't scream, hey, look, look at me. I got a gun. You know, I'm not advertising it to the world that I have these types of tools available to me. But I still have them available to me in my hotel room or in my condo, whatever the case may be. So to me, this just makes sense. And this is something that I've been doing for quite some time. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully you find that useful and informative. And I will see you guys soon. Be sure to hit the buttons and subscribe and hit the like and all that good stuff. Share this video with somebody if you if you think it could be helpful to them. And also go over and check out palmettodissonant.net. And I got some trauma kit items over there available and some shirts and stuff as well. I'll see you guys. I'm out of here.